In terms of the top five tips that I think come out of this session, the first, I believe, is that the landscape ahead of most businesses for the next 12 months is a landscape of rapid and extreme change. In order to make that change effective, I think it's incredibly important that businesses have a clear understanding of the sensitivities in their business so that they're able to allocate the scarce resources to areas that are going to have a profound impact on their performance. That's really tip number one. Tip number two is that they need to find a simplified way of reporting their management. Their, their management reporting to the key operational executives needs to tell a narrative that is complete and understandable without being excessively complex. Most businesses don't necessarily have that narrative in place at the moment. The third tip is that with the rate of change that I mentioned being so rapid, I believe it's critical that businesses establish a process whereby they're continually challenging and foreseeing and endeavouring to influence the, the 12 months ahead of their business. We call this real-time forecasting. And we're starting to develop a process whereby you're consistently questioning the key executives what information has come to light in the last 30 days that influences their view of the future. And this then feeds into what we call 3090 vision. What have you learnt over the last 30 days and what impact is it going to have on your business for the next 90 days? The, the remaining two um, issues that I think are critically important are then to have a way of validating decisions. The vast majority of decisions made in mid-market companies are made based on gut feel, which is a, a very strong trait that CEOs and the chief executives need. But if you're able to validate those decisions with a, a numerical determinant that's based on should we do this and can we do this, that has to help quite, quite extensively. The final tip um, that I believe is critically important is ensuring that when businesses make innovative, entrepreneurial, strategic investments, and, and all businesses are doing that, that those investments are held accountable. And we believe that the management of those investments that we call J-curves, the ability to identify, prioritise and then manage those J-curves is, is a critical issue in the determination of entrepreneurial success.